Taurus, Elsie here to do a reading for you, my friends. It is a bonus read. Thought I would drop in before the new week starts and give you a little bit of energy. And uh, Taurus, thank you so much for stopping in here. I do appreciate you. If you're someone who's been here before, welcome back. And thank you so much for the ways that you support this channel. I appreciate you. If you are brand new, I hope that you will stay. There is a subscription button down at the bottom right hand corner if you decide that you would like to stay. Um, please remember that this is a general read. It is a bonus read, which means it has no date or time. And I do t intend on reading from the current energy or the future energy. We are not reading from the past. If it does come up, I will acknowledge it, but we're not going to read um, in, uh, we're not going to read a whole lot about the past. Tell me more. One more. All right. Whatever you're giving me is whatever I'm going to take. I'm not fussy on the blessings. Oh, looks like somebody here is about to hit great fortune here. Some of you might be uh, enduring or dealing with something that is um, of a legal nature here. There is adjudication process going on here. There are two people standing before the judge. Um, we do have um, the Great Fortune card here, and then we do have the main male. It could be somebody here who is engaging in some sort of a legal battle. If that's the case, then I feel like the Good Fortune card is telling me that it's going to work out the way you want it to. I think somebody here has a lot of concern about how it's going to look to everybody else. Um, I feel like yeah, it feels like somebody here is is um, worrying, worrying about how it's going to look to the community. It might be a divorce for some of you. And I feel like if it is, it feels like things work out the way you want them to. Um, we do have uh, great fortune here. So it does feel like if it is a monetary payout, whether it's divorce or just a legal proceeding of some sort, I feel like you come out on top because we do have the, the main male as being card number one. This could be feminine or masculine energy. One more. We do have threes. You might be seeing threes. Look, we have 33, we have 30, we have 39. I feel like you might be seeing threes. And um, if it if it is threes that you are seeing, um, first of all, always remember that whenever whenever it comes up and, and numbers are showing themselves to you, if you see them all the time, then please look them up. But first notice what you're doing. When you see these numbers, what's going on when you see the threes? Because the threes do mean that there is a new cycle that's about to show up, a new journey is, is about to arrive here. It's also about past, present, and future. And, you know, that could be what's bringing you to this place of judication. Things that happened in the past in the, in the, um, and in the, the current energy. And that you don't want to go any further into the future without having some sort of legal recourse. What else do we have here, please, for Taurus? Two more. Okay, two more. do have acceptance. We have divine timing. Um, we also have passion and celebration. So I feel like somebody here just is going to have to accept the fact that if the if the community gets involved, they get involved. I feel like your your business is going to be all out there if it's a divorce. It feels like people are going to they're going to be who they're going to be. You got to let them be who they're going to be. It feels like somebody here is about to embark on some sort of a new journey or a new journey is close and it's coming in divine timing. But it feels like first you need to have an acceptance of what's going on here. You need to realize that um, it is going to work out the way it should. And I feel like it works out in your favor but whatever the community is saying is whatever they're going to say you got to have an acceptance of it let them think what they're going to think they don't have all the details i feel like in divine timing that there is celebration so if you're the person who's in this judication energy something that's in the courts whether it's a divorce or a separation or maybe you're um, you're um, fighting a company about something, whatever the adjudication is, I feel like it works out in your favor because of great fortune, but also because of celebration and divine timing. It feels like this is something that's been taking forever. 
Um, it says, um, you know, don't be afraid to fail. I think that comes under this community energy because you have to have the acceptance that people got to be who they are. They're going to be who they're going to be and they're going to say what they're going to say. I feel like this is something that you're coming to a realization of in an awakening. It's a realization or a shift that people are going to be who they're going to be and no matter what information you give them, they're going to draw their own conclusions. It happens in the comments all the time. Bottom of the deck, distant horizons. Um, I thought we did have card number 36, but it's 39. Distant Horizon. So it feels like somebody is um, something that was holding you down or holding you back. Um, Taurus, I feel like this is something that you are going to be able to release. You're going to be able to drop something that's been dragging you down or holding you down here. And it's because you've had some sort of an awakening. It's a realization. All right, let's look at some tarot. Tell me about Taurus and Moon Rising. Venus and Jupiter in this bonus read, please. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Got the uh, Three of Cups. Comes out on its side, which is a challenge. I feel like it's, um, it's going to be like a bittersweet um, win for you as it pertains to the adjudication. It's like you're glad that you're getting the great fortune out of it, but it's sad that it had to end up in court like this. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's not happy. Feels like um, this King of Cups in the reverse is telling me that somebody is not in control of their emotions. Somebody's throwing emotional tantrums here because of your win, because you you have, they've, they've chosen to, somebody has made a, a decision in your favor and somebody here is about to pitch a fit. <laughs> That's what it feels like here. It's supposed to be this way. We've got um, the hanged man. After a long time, everything was on pause. Somebody's finally getting perspective that I think is going to end up being quite celebratory for you. You're going to be able to go out and celebrate because of this, this win that puts you at the front of the line here. It's a new beginning of some sort. We've got the High Priestess. And we've got the Nine of Wands. Taurus, it feels like uh, with the High Priestess energy here and the King of Cups being in the reverse, it does feel like someone is not in control of their emotions. It feels like somebody here might be, when they realize that it's being said in your favor after this long while of waiting, I feel like your intuition is telling you that person's going to lose their crap. That's what it feels like here got some Sagittarius energy here. Temperance is telling me that this is the way it's supposed to be. This is this is the, the alchemization. Like it feels like somebody here is, is um, in this alchemy. It feels like whatever went on here in this adjudication process was something that I feel that you had to endure for a really long time. The six of wands, or sorry, the nine of wands is here. It's wounded warrior energy. And it feels like with the eight wands in the back and one in the hand that there's been, there's been information or communication, fiery communication going back and forth and back and forth. And it's been a bit of a juggle, I want to say. And it's been hard on you. Like, I feel like you are, you're, you're exhausted. It feels like you're you're exhausted with the way things have been going here. I feel I'm supposed to tell you to hang on because I think that whatever this is, is, is going to be working out in your favor. There will be time where you will be emotionally celebrating, but that of course means that someone else is not. Tell me more about this please for Taurus. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Page of Wands. This could be a custody battle in courts. We have uh, the Seven of Wands and we have the Ten of Wands. You're going to finally be able to let this go. You're finally going to be able to drop these burdens, Taurus. Something here is coming to an end. It's going to, I feel, move swiftly to an end. I feel like whoever is on the defense. So if you're the person who's been accused and you're the one who's on the defense, I feel like it says it's something that's said in your favor. 
if you are the one who is suing and someone else is in defense, it's said in their favor. Take it as it resonates for you, but I'm looking at the Seven of Wands and it's telling me that the moment of alchemy is coming with this person who is on the defensive. So it does feel like um, somebody here is not going to be happy and somebody will be happy. For some of you, it could be a custody, a custody battle possibly that's going on and it feels like somebody here is acting like a child if it's not custody they're acting like a child they're acting like a child who who pitches a fit pitches tantrums and when they find out that it's going to be said in your favor um if they are if you are the one who um who is in defense of all of this whatever's going on in the terms of adjudication i feel like um this person is not going to be happy if it's said in your favor and they are they are somebody who is who is unpredictable, I want to say, unpredictable in their emotions because they don't care if it's in front of a judge, if it's in front of whoever, the family, a friend, in a restaurant, they'll just pitch a fit. You know those people. They don't really care who's watching, right? They'll just they'll just rip through everybody's dinner time or whatever it is. Sometimes they, you know, they're just so un, how can I say, undisciplined that they just don't care. So I feel like the Three of Swords tells me the thing is, Taurus, it feels to me like the Three of Swords is telling me that you are, first of all, the Three of Cups, happy, elated, celebration, because you've been waiting for a really long time for someone to see it from your perspective. But I also feel that the Three of Swords is telling me that you feel really heartbroken for the person who's losing. Like it feels like it's it's a bittersweet, um, um, it's a bittersweet um, win for you. Because for some of you, it could be, that it's child custody. And unfortunately, the child custody agreement might mean that this child has to spend time with the parent who is the king of cups in reverse. Somebody who is um, kind of hard to get along with. Somebody who, somebody who is out of control of their emotions, for sure. Um, if it's not a child custody thing, it feels like there is somebody here who's quite immature in their emotions. And um, it feels like it's somebody that you have boundaries with. I feel like this is, is um, with, the, with the temperance card here, it feels like the moment of alchemy is coming and something is going to be decided here. Tell me more about this, please. We have the nine of swords. We have the five of swords. And the Eight of Swords, all swords, right? So I feel like there is worry. The reason that we're in the courts is because we have fundamental differences. There's things that we are just never going to agree on. And it's caused defensiveness. It's caused, it's caused us to be at odds with each other. And I feel like it's caused you to be exhausted, emotionally, mentally exhausted. Because the nine of the nine of wands is under this eight of swords. You're gonna be able to drop these, you're gonna be able to drop these uh these things pretty soon here. I feel like with the nine of wands. Tell me more. You're gonna be able to drop this. It's going to come to a head um possibly in the next 10 weeks. For some of you, With the death card. We have this, the swords. It, it, the six of swords. It does feel like somebody here is like, I can't wait till this is over because I never want to have anything to do with you again. For those of you who are in a custody battle, you know that you're going to have to deal with this person over and over again. But I feel like the that the um, the temperance is here to say you need to find a way to. Um, circumvent this person and the way that they throw these emotional tantrums in front of you feels like um, somebody is going to have to learn how to deal with that um, we do have the death card here i feel like um when you get this answer of course there's no more worry it feels like what's transforming here if there is if this is a custody battle here over a child because we do have one child here i feel like um i feel like it's um 
it's being said in your favor because somebody knows that this person is immovable. The King of Cups is Scorpio. Someone, when they make a decision, they plant their feet in the sand and they make their decision. They don't really care what you think. They don't care what the what the what the adjudicator thinks. They don't care what the judge thinks. They're just gonna they're just gonna act a fool anyway. And I feel like the judge. This is probably why the judge is, is saying it in your favor. I feel like with this death card here that we are talking about transforming um, things from worry to just a place where I don't really want to have anything to do with you. So for those of you who this is not a custody battle, I feel like you are dealing with someone in like a divorce or a separation possibly, um, or you could be fighting some sort of person who you bought something from or whatever the legal situation is for you. It feels like I'm really glad I don't ever have to see this person again. I'm leaving. Um, and it, it does feel like it's going to be said in your favor and this person's going to lose their mind when it is said in your favor. So I feel like um, the, the Five of Swords tells me that we had an argument that we couldn't, we couldn't work out and now it goes to the courts. Um, the Five of Swords tells me that this was a uh, something that we didn't agree on and so we had to get a third party to, to uh, make a decision about it. We do have the uh, four of wands here. It is about the home. So it might be it might be the splitting of assets in a marriage. It could be that. Um, I feel like uh, the four of wands tells me that this great fortune is going to give you enough that you can start over again, that you can find some stability once you move forward, once you move ahead. Tell me about the king of cups in the reverse, please. We do have the knight of pentacles. We have the Four of Swords, and we have the Six of Cups. So this is someone that you've known for a long time. They know how to push your buttons. They've been dragging their feet, dragging this through the courts for years, it feels like, with the Knight of Coins here. Um, so whatever, whatever you two could not agree on, this person has been trying to delay the results of it going to court for a while. Um, it feels like um, it's when it's said in your favor, though, I feel like you're going to be at the front of the line. You're going to look really good. But I feel like your concern is, is that this person may just try and um, get into the community and tell people all sorts of things about you. But the truth of the matter is, is there's nothing you can do about it. You have to accept it. That this person is a passionate person and they're going to do whatever they can to tear down your your reputation. And I feel like it could be heartbreaking. But I also feel like you're about to move, right? The six of six of swords is here. You're about to move to a new home, to a new, a new place. I feel like whatever the community says, let the community say what they're going to say, accept it and move on. What's the outcome here, please? This is somebody that you've known for a really long time. So it could be a friend that owns a business. But it also could be a soulmate marriage, right? It feels like you did everything that you could to try and heal it, Taurus, but they're not listening. No, this is somebody who just loses their crap all the time. They can't, they can't seem, they're very immature. They're very immature with um, risk taking. Um, they really don't care. Like I say, if they blow up in front of the judge or people that they don't know or wreck somebody's dinner at a restaurant, like this person is sort of a little bit out of control. Tell me what the outcome is here, please. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. We have the Page of Swords and we have the Three of Coins. And then you get to go on and, and build where you left off. Like it feels like with the Ace of Wands that you're, it, it's, I want to say that there is nothing new here. There's no new passionate path here for you, but there is a path. Um, but I feel like you're not going at it quickly. That the Page of Swords tells me you're at the very beginning again. It feels like you have to start all over again. It does feel like that. That you're going to have to start all over again with the Page of Swords here. And the Three of Pentacles. I feel like you move to a new community. A new community of people. Of friends. Very stable people. And I feel like the outcome is telling me that, that you um, start at the beginning again with a new group of friends. In a new community. Doing whatever it is that you want to do. Um living in this stable, happy, ex, you know, celebratory household. And it feels like because you've moved on, it, it feels like with this nine uh, or sorry, 10 of wands here, it feels like you finally get to release these burdens. What's coming up in the future? We've got the seven of swords. Yeah, the truth comes out here. And uh, we do have the six of coins. Everything comes to balance. It feels like it's karmic balance here because the truth was finally... We finally went from the Seven of Swords to the Queen of Swords, who is the person who is 
just going to speak it as honestly and truthfully as they can. All of the secrets, all of the lies, all of that comes out in all of this. And that's why you are going to end up victorious. Uh, we've got the Page of Coins. We've got the Lovers in Reverse. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Cups. This was a, this was a romantic connection, but I feel with the Lovers in Reverse, it's no longer. It feels like there's there's probably, if it is custody battle, there could be three children here. Um, uh, a child that is a um, earth sign, one that's a water sign. Oh, there's all four here, actually. One that's a, um, a, a in, in swords. So one that's a, an air sign or one that is a fire sign. It could be four children, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does look like this is a marriage that you had to be strong in. But you were dealing with the King of Swords. I feel like you were dealing with the King of Swords, somebody who is really hard on you, somebody who's maybe verbally abusive, um, somebody who was who would say, but I'm just telling you the truth. But they were really, really hard on you. I think that's why you had to walk away. Somebody who felt like it was their way or the highway, and they weren't willing to budge either way. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I do appreciate you. If it does re uh, remotely, um, um, uh, if it sounds familiar to you, if you could let me know. I do these readings and I never really know who they're for, but I just follow the energies, right? I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here, Taurus. I appreciate you. I'm going to be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. And I'm out. Bye-bye.